Hi Capricorn, welcome to With Love Tarot. I am back with your love reading for July of 2020. My apologies for being a little bit late with this reading, but rest assured that your energies here will be aligned and accurate as I'm taking a look at your current situation right now as I speak for the rest of July and also going 30 days out. So this will cover part of August as well. So this is going to be about somebody who is most on your mind, whether you're currently dating this person or it can be an ex. For those of you who've been with me for a while now, you know that I pick up on a lot of different messages during these love readings, but definitely somebody that you either had a romantic link with or are currently involved with now. I'm going to be looking at your current mutual energies with this person, how your person is acting toward you around this time period, how they view you, and for those of you who are interested in the extended version of this reading, I'll be looking at how your person feels about you romantically, and then the future energies of this relationship or connection, which can be found via link down in the description box below. Are you ready? Coming into your current mutual energies with your person here, Three of Pentacles popped out first. Strong feeling I'm getting is really working on something with your person, guys. Um, and if you're not in this energy now, then this is something to come for your future. But this is really a group or team effort and coming together and fixing issues or, you know, just working on the relationship. All relationships need nurturing. Could be more your energy for sure as this is uh, pentacles here. Other messages coming through here is that this could be somebody that you're involved with even outside of the relationship, meaning you work with them, go to school with them, or just are involved in a mutual hobby here. So going along with the rebuilding theme, we have the judgment card. So guys, this is one of my reconciliation cards. And when this appears in a love reading, it's something to pay attention to for me. So what storyline is that you guys are actively rebuilding a relationship with this person? Or that's the energy that you guys want to take on? Okay. Uh, could be your person is contemplating coming back around here. Judgment card is a second chance for me. So for those of you who are with your person and there's no major issues. I like to deliver both sides here when I can. This is very much just moving the connection forward and leaving behind what no longer serves the relationship, you know, leaving behind issues or baggage or rockiness and moving forward with a clean slate and building a stronger foundation at the same time. Okay, so it's really nice energy that you guys are in. So for your person's actions toward you, we have Page of Wands and the Emperor. Yeah, a lot of fiery energy here. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign person or they could have heavy fire sign placements in their birth chart. In particular, uh, this could be an Aries here. So there's also communication coming through. You know, this is like passionate text messages going back and forth with the Page of Wands. It's more of an innocent energy. But at the same time, we have this powerful energy here with the emperor okay so it's like your person could have this side to them where they're playful and fiery have a lot of energy but they also have this trait about them where they could be a little bit controlling or just in a position of authority whether that's their job or that's how they come off also could be uh, in control of their feelings around this time period. So it could come off like a little bit cold. So I will clarify everything in just a few minutes to get more specific here because this is so opposite. So how they see you, they see you as the Tower and the Queen of Cups. So what's coming through here is they see you as somebody that they have a lot of feeling a lot of love for, especially with the Queen of Cups. So they see you as somebody who's beautiful on the inside and out. Spiritual too with the Blue Lotus. Similar to the Emperor, could hold back with your feelings. You are choosy with your feelings. You don't just give your cup to anybody. Nothing wrong with that. And for those of you where something did happen, that's a literal message with the Tower. They could also be seeing you as 
um, you know, a connection that had a breakdown with. But with the Queen of Cups, the Tower, what's more coming through is like you rock this person's world. You are somebody that really could be life-changing. This is a life-changing uh, connection for them or have the ability to really change their circumstances and change their future for the better. So I'm going to clarify everything here to get more specific. clarifying uh, current mutual energies with your person here yeah so this confirms some of that energy I was feeling guys uh, justice is a very powerful energy especially with judgment uh, as you can see this is both major arcana and it's a lot of spiritual higher plane energy coming through here so first message is going along with the whole reconciliation or rebuilding theme this could be that you guys work something out and it could be a clearing of the air or rebalancing here, uh, learning a karmic lesson and moving forward from it and rebuilding a, a stronger foundation. And it can be an apology. Uh, some of you could be receiving an apology from your person, whether this is current or something to come for your future. But this is very much of a, you know, a working something out here. It's a rebalancing of the scales, especially if there was a wrongdoing that happened. This is a reversal of that. And I asked for another card and we have the seven of cups. So this is a scattered energy. So yeah, what's coming through here is really rebuilding, but also moving on from some scattered energy, especially if you were dealing with somebody or are dealing with somebody that really has to get their stuff together and make a choice on something. You know, if this person was in and out of your life or didn't treat you well or they treated you like an option even, uh, they want to make that right is what's coming through here and move on from it and build something with you. Could be dealing with a Libra as well. So King of Pentacles popped out onto your person's actions toward you. And I also asked for the card, we have King of Swords. Okay, so what's coming through here is similar to the Three of Pentacles energy and making something right. And also, you know, with this Emperor card, two kings here and an emperor is some strong energy, guys. So yeah, you really could be dealing with somebody who is a little bit domineering or could be a caretaker or protective over you, if that makes sense, you know, like they have a wolf pack mentality. But this is also somebody who is a good provider, good with their job or money. They look good, smell good, they command attention. You're attracted to this person is what's coming through here. For a tiny percentage of you out there, guys, with two kings, you could be dealing with two different people here, okay? Tiny percentage of you out there. Maybe somebody is trying to make a return here and that's not the main person you're dealing with. Or it could be a cusp. Somebody who's on the cusp between uh, an earth sign and an air sign. It happens. Regardless of, I, I don't see any bad intentions uh, on your person's part here. It's nice energy. So Sun card is clarifying how they see you. And yeah, it's exactly what I said, you know, with the life-changing energy. So they see you as somebody who makes them happy, but also somebody that they could look up to or you're on this person's mind. You know, you're the center of their universe energy coming through here. Uh, you're important to them is, is what's coming through. And look at what we have here. I asked for another card on that. We have three of pentacles. So remember we have the three of pentacles in current mutual energies. Okay, so yes, this is mirroring this message that you are somebody that is important to them 
and they want to build something with you and actively could be doing that. You know, working on building a foundation or rebuilding something, you know, fixing a foundation too. You're somebody that they could have a future with is what's coming through here. Somebody that makes them happy or a happier time in their life. So the next cards we have here is how your person feels about you romantically and the future energies of this relationship or connection. And I will be continuing this reading over at Vimeo. So I hope you join me there. Capricorn, I wish you a beautiful rest of your July. And for those of you who are interested in the extended version, the link will be in the description box down below. With love.